All right, now it's time to learn how to take attendance. Now to show you attendance, I'm not gonna actually go into this sandbox course we've been creating. I'm gonna actually go into one of my CIS generated courses because they have students in them and I can show you what taking attendance looks like. So I'm gonna go in here to my uh, Class Piano 3010. You see that I have given it a nickname, CP3010. That's how I think about it. I'm gonna click into it. And here we are. Now this here, you'll see, comes from the Reinhardt template. Uh, this is a word of advice here before we take attendance. When you really start building in Canvas and you're adding content pages and assignments and discussion things, you're going to want to make sure to watch the video about adding the Reinhardt template first so that you can have these resources, these nice looking features in your content pages, your assignment pages, and your group discussions so that we have a common uh, feel to our online material and so that you can add beautiful pictures uh, like this here of the uh, Fellini Performing Arts Center. Isn't that nice? All right, so to take attendance, what you do is you click on attendance in the course navigation pane. So let's look in our course navigation, home announcements, syllabus, modules, grades, piano collaboration, bookshelf, assignments, discussion, quotes, 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 quotes. Uh, there is no attendance. This is one of the features with Canvas that I'm not too thrilled with. Um, taking attendance requires a little bit of manipulation at the beginning before you are able to access the attendance button. So what we're going to look at now is uh, customizing this navigation pane. So you go to settings and this time in settings we are actually going to use one of the tabs. We've got several different tabs here and the tab we're looking at is navigation. So you have this set of menu items here and then we have this paragraph divider and this set of menu items below. Everything above this divider here, this drag items here to hide them from students, everything above that the students can see and can access. Everything below that they can't. Don't believe me? Well, I'll prove it to you. Here's something else you'll want to do. Uh, go to Home, and then go to Student View. And this is what students see. All right, so you see over here, their navigation is this. You can also see that we're in the Student View because of this magenta um, border. We're going to leave the Student View now. And what we want to do is go back into Settings, navigation and we're looking for attendance it will be down here towards the bottom here it is and all you have to do simply is drag it up oh, drag it up okay now things that you want to hide from students all you have to do is drag it down so they don't need to see the collaborations we're not going to use that they don't need to see google drive we're not going to use that they don't need to see office 365 nor do they need bookshelf we don't have anything in there we don't have any red shelf materials they probably don't need to see people. A millibus, yeah, that's about all they need to see. And in fact, I think modules is pretty important. I'm going to put it up towards the top. Uh, I'll put grades and it, grades at the bottom. Whoop, grades at the bottom. And there, we'll do it that way. There we go. Grades at the bottom, attendance and syllabus. Please, I just want there, like that. Okay, so now these are the only menu options that the students will be able to see. Okay, so attendance is now up there in this menu option. We have to make it visible so that we can actually use it. This is the only navigation item that is like this. Everything else you still have access to. You're just hiding it from the students. Okay. This is an important step. This is a step I forget at least twice a day. After you've managed your uh, navigation, click Save. All right, now you can see that we have access to the Attendance button in Course Navigation. I'm going to click it. And when it opens, you'll see a list of your students. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to our first day of class, which is Tuesday, August 20th. And this is another one of those features with Canvas that 
a lot of people are not too happy about. Really, when you hear people complaining about Canvas, it's about a few things. And one of those things is the roll call uh, system, the attendance system. One of the things that I don't like about it is that it's wide open. You have to make sure you're on the date of the attendance front in the calendar when you take attendance. In Eagle Web, it would limit your ability to take attendance based on the sessions that you had. Now, for some people, they might like that a little bit better. For me, you know, if you teach the class and then you maybe, I don't know, internet's out and you can't take attendance that day, but you make a mental note and you write down who was absent and you come back on the next day and you try to enter it then, you can, but it's not accurate because it's not during a day that class met. So I'm going to go back to, to this Tuesday. This is our first day of class. And when I take attendance, um, these buttons here, they're toggle switches. This is unmarked. We haven't taken attendance. If I click it once, she's there. If I click it twice, she's not there. She was absent. If I click it a third time, she was tardy. If I click it again, she uh, was there. Not there. Not, uh, there was no, um, nothing was marked. Attendance wasn't taken. So here's typically how you'll do it. Most of the time, everybody's there. So mark all present. Oh, except William didn't show up. He was absent. Make sense? Uh, you can unmark all. Um, uh, but that's generally how you'll do it. You'll mark all present and then go in and tick the people who weren't there. Maybe tick the person who was tardy. And that'll get you going. I'm going to unmark all again. Now, I'm curious. I've left these unmarked, but I have manipulated them. I'm going to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Don't go away. And I'm back. Okay. Um, the first time you take attendance, the first time you click one of these buttons, Canvas automatically creates a new assignment called Roll Call Assignment. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to go into Assignments, and here it is. Roll Call Assignment. You'll notice it's in an assign the assignment group. I would, of course, drag it into the appropriate... Uh, waiting category, if I have attendance as 5%, I would drag it into the attendance assignment group that's weighted for 5%. And the way it calculates it is uh, present gets 100, tardy gets 80, absent gets 0. And then it's just a simple, um, you know, uh, average of those grades. I do believe you can still, maybe you can't. Yes, you can still drop. So if you give two free absences, uh, you can drop those two lowest scores, and that will drop the zeros that come in, or even the tardies, if that's all that your student has as a low grade. Okay, let me show you one other thing that's kind of cool with the attendance uh, widget. Um, go back to, I'll use the calendar chooser this time, go back to the 20th. You can set up. Uh, if you have a large class, you can set up a seating chart. So I'm going to go to this class grid, and it will give you a seating chart. And maybe, see, I've got 12 pianos, and I know that Andrew sits here, Ben sits here, Elizabeth and Andrew are inseparable, Jeff usually sits here, Caitlin likes to sit here, Randy really normally sits where Benjamin sits, but hey, and William sits there. I'm, I, this is just for me because I want it to be accurate. William almost always sits here. And Benjamin, Randy almost always sits there. So I can set up that uh, attendance, and then after I've edited that seating chart, I can take attendance from the seating chart. And again, typically what I would do is mark all present and, oops, Andrew was late and Elizabeth was, was late and Benjamin decided not to come. Whoops, there we go. And you can take attendance that way. So if you have a large class, you can set up your seating chart and take attendance in that fashion. I'm going to unmark all. It would be unfair to give them those grades since it hasn't happened yet. 
but that is how you take attendance in Canvas. Let's recap because this one is a little bit tricky and I'm going to do that in another course. So dashboard. I'm going to go into my Fundamentals of Music Lab. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to the Navigation tab of Settings. I'm going to drag Attendance up above the divider. I'm going to click Save. Now you'll see at this time I only have these assignments because they came with the uh, template that I imported. I do not have the roll call assignment yet. So when I go into attendance and I go to our first class meeting, which is going to be on Friday the 23rd, after I mark anything really, even if I immediately unmark them, now when I go to assignments, I have that roll call attendance app. So it does not get created until you take attendance that first time. That's just about all. We've configured our gradebook. We have uh, added group category, group assi assignment groups, and weighting and rules. We've learned how to take grades. We've now learned how to take attendance. The last thing we need to do is to add our syllabus. Okay, so come back, let's look at how to add a syllabus, and you will be well on your road to becoming a Canvas Ninja Warrior. See you soon.